Hello everyone, Ali here, and today we're going to talk about ChatGPT. Disclaimer, I do work for Microsoft and I do have something to do with the chat, but I will not be talking about anything related to work. You don't actually have to work at Microsoft to understand these things. So let's get through those. When it comes to operations, ChatGPT will definitely replace people. It will most likely replace me or my job pretty soon. Maybe give it two years i think half of product management job is going to be done you might be thinking oh wait no it's you know such a job that requires more thinking yeah that's what chat gpt does so let's go through everything related to operations where chat gpt will take over and i'm sure you've seen lots and lots of videos about it but here's my spin on it customer support oh my god it is done. Don't even think that there's gonna be new agents online being hired. Most of the companies will keep the agents who are on staff now, but they will not need more agents. And frankly, that job is not so exciting anyway. And I've talked to several friends of mine who were in customer support. It's a tough job. So maybe it is a good thing that now these people will be looking for some other more creative jobs sales and lead generation i know at least one or two companies that are working on sales and lead generation right now using chat gpt where emails will be automatically sent and the conversations will be happening with you feeling like it's a human training and onboarding that one is also i feel like good that a chat gpt is going to take care of because training happens all the time and frankly it's a repetitive thing with some changes that are happening but yeah you will not be needing a person to train you that kind of also makes me think about a job as a teacher and some of the like online courses and trainings that you might be able to do by yourself but at the same time with a human touch or with chat gpt who will be talking to you very much like a teacher would now you have probably tried pi which is pi and that ai also talks to you and it has a really full conversation it can understand jokes and crack jokes itself so there's a lot of competitors that are coming out for open ai yeah so think about that as well knowledge management it can work as a faq so think about chats on all different products will they automatically answer all your questions and all that work will also be taken care of most likely now we get into decision support this is interesting because basically chat gpt can analyze data make conclusions take all the data out there available and compare it and give you suggestions so think about all the analysts no not all the analysts are going to be retired what's going to happen is that ChatGPT is going to be helping those analysts but will we need fewer human analysts now yes same with product managers product managers do a lot of analysis before making decisions and you know prioritizing work bringing the you know conclusions to like okay this is the roi that's why we're building these features versus other features now that will be helpful with ChatGPT, probably some private version that will not be using my data outside because it's business information. But the point is, again, fewer humans will be needed for this job because it's going to be automated. Workflow automation. Now, this one I'm excited about because a lot of my job, sometimes it feels like most of my job, is updating reports, way too many reports. But I wish I could actually use ChatGPT, so it just automates it and updates it for me because it just takes a lot of time to be in the meetings and updating reports and still need to do the job itself. So workflow automation is coming. Market research and feedback analysis kind of ties to the analysis that I was mentioning about before. And the point of this one is that everybody who's doing marketing analytics will be using ChatGPT because there's a lot of data and you can make better decisions with that. 
Now the funny thing is I am actually using ChatGPT to give me that context and I want to add on top of it that mostly, especially in the beginning, it is going to be more of a helpful tool for us humans to do our jobs better. So that's fantastic. But as we progress, of course, there's going to be more information that we're sharing with the machine so the machine gets smarter and we need fewer people doing that now the question that you all ask is is that good or bad because now we don't have all these jobs and it's not like we have a replacement of them and i can say that when you think about digitalization i think we were in the same place where the replacement or coming up with new jobs uh, wasn't coming as swiftly but the point is we always find new things to do and they become more exciting for us and more enjoyable. Now there's going to be also a lot of competition because we're using the same tools to do the job. But overall, I am actually very optimistic that these kind of tools will help us optimize and democratize a lot of rights for people and ability to make money from wherever you are and get education from wherever you are all you need is internet and currently you still need to speak english but overall i think that will not be a problem either because the machine is pretty smart and i'm sure it can speak all the languages at least very shortly and that is it for today i hope you enjoyed my quick video about chat gpt and good luck